another A to the creation, to the protection of the world around us. See, I, before I presented an idea that I don't think would work for her. I think it might cause more harm than good. But now I've got another one that I know will do some good. Well, what is that idea? Quite simply, we take a structure and build it. It's a pyramid-like structure. On the front of the pyramid-like structure, we place a propeller. Now, this is a huge propeller, probably larger than a helicopter propeller. We place them in the front of the sand, and we dig them in, and we place them so that they are solid. And as the hurricane comes in, right, we've got a singularity of a storm. It's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning. But you notice if we take that spin and break it apart with several of these, these, these props, these wind catchers, these, these, these props, and they're pointed like this so that the winds are just cut and carries, it carries the storm. As the winds catch in these, the winds are broken apart from their circular motion, their normal storm path. They now are breaking apart, and they're breaking into several small streams of water and being driven down into the ground by these props as they sit out in front of these little, little structural iron struts, struts. And as they catch that wind, more and more that wind is broken apart and broken apart and broken apart. And it's set up in lines and two, alternating lines, right upon, not on the shore so much, but just off of the shore. And as that winds and those waters start coming in, it starts carrying, it starts spinning, you know, catching it at all. But as it goes behind it, you now we look at the air behind it, and it's been leveled out, broken up. It's no longer this massive storm. It's all in little, t it's all branching out breaking apart. The storm is just breaking apart and breaking apart. Now the props can be built in several ways. I think the best way, the best way is with sails. These sails just go in and they catch the winds and the waters and hold back that windstorm. Now it can be applied to tornadoes too. Because as that wind goes in there, it's going to want to spin that circular path. But instead, we break it apart so it no longer can travel in that circular path. And it just it, it crumbles and it, it breaks apart the winds of the storm. It's motion. It's, it, it's momentum. And that, that I believe through the the breaking apart of its momentum, we can truly make, make make a fighting stand against these hurricanes and these tornadoes as they come down. They have to be fairly large structures, but it, it would be, you'd have to be able to set them up quick and easy. You got the idea right here, and the following is a little picture of the device, and you know, how you would lay it out, and just imagine it. It comes in, it grabs that wind, it breaks it apart as all of them do. One catching it here, one catching it there, and just breaking the winds apart and apart and apart. What happened to the storm after that? After the winds are all broken apart? Thank you for your time, Mr. David Clay of the United Unified Building.